tandem Charleston girl turn. Guys, you're in luck. We don't do very much. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Here's our basic. And here's the girl turn. Perfect. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna have Courtney. Usually, I go first. I'm gonna have Courtney go first on this because her part's a little more complicated. Yes. So, girls, you're doing your exact same kicks. Your counting shouldn't get messed up at all. Your kicks shouldn't get messed up. The only difference is instead of kicking rock step, forward step, forward, middle, side step, which is our basic tandem step. Um, go watch it in the video, the tandem basic if you haven't. Instead, you're going to be going rock, step, kick to the side, step, and then your other two kicks are used for turning in a football. So you're going to go kick, middle, kick, step. That middle is still really important to keep because you don't want to get off feet. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the basic. You should do the same counts for your other kicks. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not rocket science. You just start turning in a circle while you're doing your kicks. All right, for our guys, our kicks are gonna stay mostly the same. If you haven't watched the tandem basic video, go ahead and watch that. I put in today's exact same, but I really wanna emphasize when you do your kicks, do not kick straight forward. That sometimes work when your follow is just doing the basic, but when she's spinning, she's not gonna have a leg forward, you're just gonna kick her. So it's gonna be best to go rock, step, little kick to the side, and then kick to the side, kick to the side. It's just way safer while you're turning. How are we gonna lead this? We're gonna start just like we do with normal Charleston, our left hand going up, right hand going down. So we're gonna go rock, step, now as this right hand comes up, we're gonna go over her head, kick, step. And now guys, you kinda of just wanna hold it here in the middle for a second while she does her kick. And then you're just gonna help her turn that little last bit. So there's a hesitation where you're holding your right here, where she's waiting to do a second kick. Once she kicks, you're gonna pull her the rest of the way through the turn. So really slowly, what that's gonna look like is rock, step, kick, step, kick, and kick, step. It should be very basic. It shouldn't feel like you're forcing her to do anything. It should just all kind of flow. Okay. 